Hello, this is Shintito21. As you can tell by the fact that it is my profile. I said Friday I would be uploading a kind of walkthrough for the Ubuntu desktop. This is it. This is the default desktop, default background. I've just got a bunch of programs set up here and there. Three pictures that I've used for various reasons, most of which are P. As you can see, it is not like what you'd expect from, say, Windows or Mac. For one, the launcher is off to the left hand side instead of the default bottom for everything else. You cannot change this. There used to be a tweak. However, if, however Ubuntu removed it directly because that tweak was unstable and would often lead to your system crashing. So Ubuntu just said screw it and removed the whole thing and as far as I know, no one's come up with a better fix. Anyways, as you can see, I have a couple of things pinned on here. One of which that you may not recognize is because it doesn't match any sort of norm would be the Ubuntu Software Center. Open that up for y'all. As you can see, it lets you really just download a lot of various Various, I, various icons. A lot of various, various programs. All sorted out into a few categories. Accessories such as a couple of modifications to your terminal. A couple of password managers. etc. And all right, you get the general idea, right? Accessories, books and books and man magazines, developer tools, education, fonts, games. You can also manage what you already have installed. As you can see. I have a few major key things. Yes, folks, it does have Steam. Steam does run native to Linux. However, not all games on Steam will. That is the key difference. That is the only reason why I would eat. Therefore, I do, however, recommend that for any major gamers, like really freaking hardcore, or who use Steam on who use Steam for a lot of games. I would suggest that you have a dual boot of Windows 7 or Windows 8 if you prefer. However, I do not, so I would stick with Windows 7. Man, that's right, I forgot I still had Pi TV. Anyways. 
It does come with some items for universal access, meaning like disability things. And other than that, Skype, again, runs native. It comes preloaded with a bunch of different goodies, such as LibreOffice, Writer, Word, Calc, uh, Excel, Impress, PowerPoint, Math, uh, not sure, Draw, I guess PDF, I don't know. Cheese manages any webcams you may have. See? As you can tell, I am running a dual Windows, but because one of them really does not play nice, like at all, when I do that, I decided to only go with a one screen video for the sake of my screen recorder. The thing's laggy as hell. However, remember when I mentioned that some programs don't run native to uh, Linux? For a lot of programs that aren't handled by a front end like Steam or Arc, there is a workaround called Wine. It basically emulates Windows for the purpose of the, whatever program you're running. That is how I can still use Invu. The program itself is really customizable. Don't ask me why I typed twerk. I guess I've just as in that kind of mood. But as you can see, I have all of this. can mess with Unity itself. Unity is basically what Unity does is it Unity is basically the front end for Ubuntu and all of its direct derivatives. Anyways, back to what I was talking about earlier. Numix. Personally, I personally I either like when it comes to icons, I either like Ubuntu Mono Dark or the new mix circles. Simply because I think they're cute. And yes, I know I'm weird. Sue me, motherfucker. But anyways, you can adjust the cursor. Adjust the fonts, windows, controls. All that good stuff. And that really concludes this walkthrough. Any questions, comments, send them in the, 
in the comments below.